Bless the Lord. Because you're acting in the flesh. The Lord has got to know Jesus. You will not worry what happened after you leave. You will say, I am glad to meet you. The children that love me, Jesus Christ. He is the one that loves me. He is the one that died on the cross for me. He is the one that told me, I am beautiful. He is the one that has told me, I am handsome. Jesus is the way. He is the truth. And Jesus Christ is the life. He is the only way. Jesus Christ is the only way to my heart. And if the heart is filthy and dirty, the only way God can come into your heart through your repentance. God does back into you. He gives you a mind, body, and soul, and spirit. And it's up to you to receive it as the only spirit. He's the Holy One. Jesus Christ is the Holy One. He's the only one that knows about heaven. And He comes down on this wicked earth and suffers so much of pain for us. Jesus suffer and he suffer. We don't know how much Jesus Christ suffer. But the people say the, the, the beating of nails on a bed and they put on his flesh just for a time like this when I am sinful and he turns his blood down so that I shall be forgiven. Do you want to be forgiven today? Do you want Jesus Christ to say, Welcome, my son. Welcome, my son. Do you want Jesus to walk away all the hurt when your husband goes to go home tonight and your husband put a victim on you because of his outside world or one your wife put a victim on you because of his outside man? Don't you know? That is Jesus will pull that back and tell him to leave my child alone. Do you think it's because you call the pain? Not because you call the pain. Because God said, anyone touch my servant, I will deliver them. He said, touch not my anointing. Do not touch my anointing. And you know, God is calling you to come out here to be sons of the kingdom. He is calling you to be a child of the kingdom. Jesus Christ is calling you to say, I'm a father. Who are the other? How let you die that thy kingdom come? Thy will be done. Don't leave in your sin. Don't die in your sin. This body you have is temporary. Yes, this body you have is temporary. It is made out of dust. Your body is made out of dust. But your soul, which is you, is made of the remnant of God. Your soul is you. And to see how God carefully made you, you must turn back and come to him today. This is the day of salvation. Now I'm telling you today, you must be born of the Spirit to enter into the kingdom of God. You must be born again of the water and of the Spirit and of the fire. Yes. To enter into his holiness. That's the only way you will know that Jesus is your father. Yes. Yes, brothers and sisters. Come back home today. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. Amen and amen. You will Did I tell you all about fire? I told you to be on fire.
you. Hinduism cannot save you. Muhammad cannot save you. Your pastor cannot save you. Your congregation cannot save you. And you can't save yourself. There's only one name among all men that can save you. And I wonder what that name is. Can somebody tell me what that name is? What's that name that can save me? What's the name that can save me? Thank you, my brother, to that man. Nobody knows that. Nobody knows God out here. Besides us. That one man that can save us all is Jesus. Jesus. Without saving us all. But yet while we were still sinners, Jesus died for us. Let me repeat that. What they were still in the but yet while we were still sinners, Jesus died for us. He died to set you free, yet you and me. He gave us to set to him. He opened our eyes to show us how to share. He took us from the evil of God's perpetrator. He opened our eyes and showed us the mistakes we were making. Amen. And he wants to live with them. He'll take away all of your sins. And your old life will end. And your new life will end. Will begin. Am I right about it? Amen. That's what Jesus can do for you. Amen. But you love your fornication. You love your drunkenness. You love your, your sin so much that you reject Jesus. Let me tell you something. When you reject Jesus, you reject your own salvation. When you reject Jesus, you reject your own life. When you reject Jesus, you reject your own freedom. Because he's given us all of that and then some. Am I right about it? Amen. Yeah. yeah. Who doesn't want that? Who doesn't want any all of the good things that Jesus has to offer us? Or you got to live in your badness. You want to walk around with your bad stuff. You want to look good for a lady and have a pain, pain. Amen. You know what? I was once like that. I was once like that. But Jesus brought me out of everything that I put my trust into. I'm not going to give the devil any credit because I was doing it because I wanted to do it. I let him in. I let him in. And once you make that mistake, the only one that can pull you out of your situation is Jesus. And once you make the mistake of letting the evil one in, you have no power left. You're like a dehydrated battery. It's not going to do anything. You're done. I got one here. I got one here. And all of them good can do you out of every situation that you are in right now. Amen. And that's the problem with this world since the beginning of time. I'm going back to when I first started. The, uh, the, 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 uh, mankind, mankind's world failure, the downfall was sin, and it still is sin. Mankind loves sin so much because they're all attacked of self-destruction. But Jesus can make that path straight. Why is the world to the world? But now it is the, the road to the gates of heaven. And you can't serve two masters. Choose to die, who do you say it? You can't say it, two masters. You can't say it, God and my mom. Because you will love one and you will hate the other. And this, you can't pay. You can't pay Chuck Moore with the Holy Spirit. You can't pay Doug Dutch with the Holy Spirit. And if it was a light, or if it's a darkness, which one do you want? Know in your outcome. And if you choose the darkness after hearing this message, then God says you are without excuse. Because who is Jesus to you? 
and what was Jesus to me? He said, Lord, God, we are okay. And he's coming back up to heaven. Do you care? The kingdom of heaven. Amen, amen. Let the church say, Amen. Yeah. That's why you must walk upright with the Lord. This world has been in trouble since the beginning of time. Because you turn your back to the Lord. Amen. You have done everything in the world to make sure that you go to the lake of fire. Because you don't care. Amen. That's why this gospel is being preached right now. But if you can talk to the Lord, Thanks for the Lord that Jesus Christ is Lord and He's the only one that can save us all from our souls. Amen. 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 That knows you better than you know yourself. Am I right about it? You know why you need Jesus? This is why we all, all of us need Jesus. Because Jesus is the only way to salvation and will save you from the defamation that's coming to the wicked nation, the God population, that we are all in violent eradication and this world is coming to a violent defamation because you refuse the salvation, the work of Jesus and justification and will give you a warm embrace and put you with him to that heavenly nation. And I write about it all after the Holy Spirit up in here today. Amen. Amen, amen. I am a soldier in the battlefield of the Lord. Because just for me, yes, just for me, amen, Jesus' blood was poor. Amen. But we know to come out of our wicked ways so that we can receive the gift of the Holy Spirit and receive Jesus and receive salvation. But you gotta turn away from your friends, America. America. You gotta turn away from your friends. Jesus said, Hide not your heart. I will give you a heart made of flesh and take away your heart made of stone. Amen. Amen. And you know, my favorite Jesus to the cross so that we, if we have no money, will not be lost. Amen. And we are living in a world that right now is very, very lost and just a dark place. A dark place. We live in a wicked world right now and only children have the power to save us all. And a mighty number of Jesus. Amen. 